Are you okay. right now? Yes. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> Don't interrupt me. So, you might be asking yourself, where is he now? He is uh, in Rhode Island. What's this island actually called? This is Middletown, and this is... Um this is Second Beach. Uh, it's nature preserve. But isn't the island itself called like oh, Aquidnik? Oh, Island. Okay, so we're on, we'll, we'll cut a lot of that out. We're on Aquidnik Island, which um, houses uh, Newport, Rhode Island, and Middletown, and Portsmouth, Rhode Island. And we're on a little, like, uh, little outpost called Satuest. It's like a point. And um, we're going to do a little little day fishing here. I know the, the bigger ones come out at night, but we're just gonna, just like at the at Coney Island, we're just gonna see what comes up. We have to do a little trail walk here, but uh, I'll meet you at the water. There's the ocean, folks. So I'm probably gonna be fishing somewhere around here. We got some fishermen down there. I don't wanna bother them, but uh, Maybe out on that point, or maybe even just right in here. We'll figure it out. Got my squid on my line. This is a high-low rig. It's a little higher tech than the one I was using the other day at Pony Island. But let's cast it out. It's time. Found a nice point here. Again, sorry about the wind noise. Really not much I can do about it. Just playing the waiting game here on the rocks. Um, not too much has happened. Been a little nervous. These waves seem to be getting a little higher, but uh, I haven't gotten stuck on the bottom. That's surprising to me so far, but I'm sure that's about to happen now that I said it. Okay, I've changed spots. My line's back in the water, still got that high-low rig on with a piece of shrimp on each hook. Just waiting to see what, what wants to hit it. Guy at the bait shop was saying, in the middle of the daytime like this, I can expect maybe porgy. Um, forget the other one he said. Oh, black sea bass. Both uh, edible. Uh, some restrictions on them, but... If we get one big enough, maybe we'll try a catch and cook. The bell's ringing a little bit just because of the current, so just got to watch for the movement that goes along with the, uh, with the ringing. If it's more erratic and going all over the place, then it's a fish. If it's just kind of going with the rhythm of the waves, then it's the current. Hey, there's a bell there. We're going to check and see, but I think it might have just been the current. something on there.
we go. That's a porgy. I'm going to measure it. We might be able to cook this one. Okay, so we've harvested a porgy. It's all legal. It's over 10 inches. It was more like 11, uh, almost 12. So uh, we're going to uh, try doing a little catch and cook now. We'll see you when we have a campfire. Catching fish. Okay, we've made it back to our campsite in uh, Portsmouth, Rhode Island. It's on the same island as Newport and Middletown, Rhode Island. Um, and I'm getting prepared to fillet this porgy. Um, if you doubt my filleting abilities, don't worry. I just watched a couple YouTube videos on how to fillet a porgy specifically. Uh, it doesn't look too hard. And um, I have a brand new filleting knife, so this is gonna. I'm going to uh, initiate my uh, my fillet knife. Uh, I'm gonna probably cut a lot of this out. Anyway, um, the reason I'm talking to you from the car is because we do have a little bit of rain, so I am gonna put you into the waterproof case, which means the sound's gonna be terrible. So I'm probably just gonna do a little quick montage of me filleting this fish, and we'll cook it and we'll eat it. All right, see you out at the the laying table. Thank you. 